Clitheroe. Clitheroe in Lancashire. Clitheroe in the Ribble Valley. Clitheroe on the back of a storm. Clitheroe when it stopped raining. It's been raining for five weeks non-stop. And uh, Clitheroe in a four-day dry spell. We have a four-day summer now. We had a ten-day spring. Very nice. And uh, we face the clock tower. We look at the hills. Oh, and lovely hills they are. And uh, I hear there's a castle in this uh, in this town. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Morning. You all right? Take care. I like you, Gary Barlow. <laughs> it's great. It gave me a fright going past. I thought, is someone like, is there a guy just hanging out wearing a face mask? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's brilliant. Take care. See ya. <laughs> Well, the cackling witch has uh, sent feminism back 50 years. It's just a group of middle-aged women trying to sell some products. And, um, <laughs> anyway, how about an inflatable hot dog, inflatable pizza, or an inflatable burger? Boland Food Hall. Two days, this is all. We need for two days because it will take five Okay, all welcome back to Walkden. We're at Walkden Gateway. Oh my God, one of these uh, uninspired modern developments that's got a library, children's services, national health service, council services, benefit services, be a scumbag for life services. And speaking of being a scumbag for life, speaking of upside down shopping trolley, nowhere near a supermarket. I've been watching the channel Police Activity very closely from America and I've uh, learned something. I've learned that eugenics and uh, euthanasia are still very active in America and they're doing it legally. Because everyone is armed in America, the police protocol, the uh, protocol for dealing with uh, potentially armed and dangerous people is to um, shoot them many, many times with your nine millimeter pistols or your M4 carbines, whichever policeman's responding or shotgun, shoot them until they can be no threat, no more. 
<laughs> there couldn't be any threat anymore. Double negative, Charlie. Oh my God, you've been in Walkden too long. So uh, that's how they do it in America. It's like you act a bit too excited. You put your hand in, the, in your pocket near a cop when he's asked you not to. You get removed from the gene pool. And uh, unfortunately here in Britain, uh, you put your hand in your pocket too near the police. Uh, you, you don't get removed from the gene pool. You get given 20 high-powered lawyers, you get given a house, free accommodation, maybe a kind of six-month stay in a four-star hotel. You get legal aid, you get bum aid, you get scumbag aid, you get orc aid. Orc aid for the orcs. And that's how they carry on. Orcaid.com Have my viewers ever noticed that you only ever see people hark on about the word community in scummy areas? <laughs> I have a depressing statistic for my viewers. Salford, Salford has the lowest rates of breastfeeding in all of England. And uh, because they are orcs. And it even says on the baby formula, this product is not as good as the milk that comes from thine breast. And the mums are like, ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it, give them the product, they'll be fine. Okay. And no ball games says the church, but it's only gay if the bollocks touch. Check it guys, it's the former Conservative Club from 1894 that's been chopped up and turned into flats and houses. Looks alright actually, let's get a bit more detail on this one. A bit more deets. Very nice. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Oh God, no, no, we've got a horror. It's an eyesore. It's what, a 5G tower. I know. And uh, tell me about it. It must be annoying having it directly outside your house. I have protesters there. When they have were you? Yeah, when they were yeah coming, people when they have been uh, attacking them and, and, and burning them down. And no, I'm, I, you might have heard me jingling. There was a, a wheel clamp that someone had successfully managed to remove and thrown it in the bush. Oh, so you maybe heard me playing with the chain. But no, I'm just doing random shots around Walkden today. There's one on the East Lanks Road, they've written it across. Yeah, there. Death Tower. Death Tower. Death Tower, yeah, that's near Swinton, I've seen that one. Have you seen it? Yeah, 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 but no, I, I'm, I, I know the pros and the cons, but I'm staying out of it. It's too much politics in the 5G tower, but they say 5G will bring any man down. You should stick to 1 or 2G, but... Uh, They've been given carte black to put those anywhere that they want. They've oh, got yeah. Planning permission, that, uh, individual no. planning permission, that, that they yeah. don't have to do it. They can no. just say, we want it there, yeah. and that's it. They're not going to listen to the little man, they're going to listen to the corporations. No. That's it. All the best, mate. Sip. No, 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 no. It's all good. Sip. Nice chat with the Walk the Night. Let's have a look at the Walk the Clinic. Now, uh, I'm in Walkden because some days 
I just can't face the, the long road into Manchester. And I, I love meeting my viewers, and you've all got great taste and stuff, but uh, I'm getting quite well known now, and it's difficult to maintain momentum. When I quite rightly, and I, I love it, I've not been rude to anyone that has stopped me and asked for a photo and a chat or anything. I'm always kind, but uh, some days your, your, your famous man just wants to retreat into the shires. And what have we got here? Manchester breast screening. Now, you don't think of Walkden as a, anything other than the meme. You don't like my driving? Walk then, but there are some very nice maisons, very nice residences here. This is a fully detached house with a big garden at the back, and it faces the Walkden Clinic. So if you ever need your breasts screened, in fact, every woman should get her breasts screened. Always check every, every two weeks. You never know. But it's nice. What the viewer has here are the public baths in Walkden, built by the Worsley Urban District Council in 1937. It consisted of a 25-yard pool with Turkish steam baths, an aerotone therapeutic bath, an early kind of jacuzzi it says in brackets, and other washing facilities. And uh, it has great nostalgia for me, this place, because attached is the Worsley Leisure Centre, where my children come for swimming lessons. You better be able to swim now, you little poo heads. Swim your problems away. Now, most countries have outdoor swimming pools, but in Britain, we're very much an indoor pool kind of land. Uh, in 2007, Smart by Mercedes released a special edition of the Smart 42. It was called the, the Smart Arse. And it sold very well in Great Britain, but not so much in the Americas or the Canadas. Um, they, they weren't really into uh, smart arses in, in those countries. So here in uh, Britain, you need a license for pretty much everything, especially, um, you know, bread knives, butter, uh, but, butter knife. Like, have you got a license for that? Like, if I was to walk around, if I just found this. And if I were to walk around, I could get a compulsory two year sentence in jail for carrying a blade even though the worst I could do with this would be butter someone. My biggest advice to anyone purchasing a large house in a nice area is don't chop the trees down. It makes you look mentally unwell when all the trees are gone. And look, at it's just blaring sunshine, nowhere to hide. Whereas these people, look how much better it looks. Even a bit of hedge. Now this is very pretty for sale. And not only has he got a tree, check this out. Check this out. Look at that, the man's got an orchard. <laughs> it's beautiful. These look like uh, pink lady apples, but what do I know? Forty-three, forty-three years on this uh, spinning globe in the universe. Very nice. Thoroughly enjoying myself. Everything's okay. A couple of problems, a couple of big problems, but uh, they should resolve eventually. Things are being taken and done to resolve them. But uh, I think my fellow early 40s, mid 40s, 40 year olds, 50 year olds will agree that hell is now other people. When you're young, when you're young and vibrant and bouncy, you're like, oh, new people, new opportunities. But then you get jaded and cynical and bitter and twisted by empirical real life situations. 
and you just want to separate yourself. You just want to get back into the countryside. You want a homestead. You want a farmstead. You want a stead stead and just become self-sufficient because when you're self-sufficient, the neurotic insanity of urban people can't affect you. My latest uh, craze is telling uh, joggers, sorry, telling joggers that no one's chasing them. There's no one chasing you. He doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, while we're here, let's talk Barbie movie. I watched the Barbie movie on my birthday. Yep, I'm a mature man. And it was a mostly, mostly mums and their daughters. That was the kind of general demographic. But uh, I went and uh, I expected it to be very lighthearted, but it was a kind of... It was a reworking of The Truman Show with more psychological horror, more of a romantic, unrequited love horror angle to it. Ken is a proto-human, some sort of golem created by the corporate gods to worship Barbie. And uh, for that reason, because he's not his own man, she can't love him and she doesn't love him and she humiliates him. All the men are humiliated. And then he finds out about the patriarchy and the poor guy is so beaten down and humiliated it has parallels with uh, other, you know, ethnicities that were abused for hundreds of years and then they, they kind of overreact and get overly violent and aggressive and believe they deserve reparations. Well, the men felt they deserved reparations in Disneyland, but it all falls apart. The women try and impose a matriarchy again and that all falls apart. There is nothing but existential despair and thoughts of death and philosophies of non-existence for Barbie because she realizes how fake the world is, how fake she is, how fake everything is. There is no happy ending. There is no love for Ken. There is no realization that he can become a man. There is pure rejection of everything that they made him to be. And so I thought, Jesus effing Christ, I wanted toys and movie tie-ins. I wanted lighthearted humor. And I got a Faustian epic a Faustian epic of absurd existentialism and denial of death in the modern corporate world. So yeah, do I recommend it? Fuck yeah, it's a great movie. We are all Michael Douglas in Falling Down. We are all Michael Douglas falling down. Greenway closed ahead. Please follow Pedestrian Diversion. No, you're okay. I, I just want to go and check out the Greenway. Greenway closed ahead. Please follow Pedestrian Diversion. And as we pass under the Broadway Bridge, it looks very exciting up ahead. And I am not going to follow the pedestrian diversion. I am such a rebel. I'm just getting some snaps. I've just nothing. I'm just getting some snaps. I'm just wandering around. Don't worry. Pl playing with a new camera. That's all. No worries, mate. All the best. This feels like a, a movie where, like, you know, let's create the world's biggest boomy boom boom. <laughs> okay. If you get pulled over and you've got that in the back with all the pipes attached. Bit steep. Just a bit. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Try not to. All right, well, I know where I am now. Shitty main road. God damn it. All right, uh, Rolls-Royce estate. Not estate, convertible. And there you go. Keep it clear, keep it. turn. He's going to do it. Most exciting clip in this whole video compilation. Car turning. Car turning peacefully at a junction.
Pink Academy. I'll show you what street it's opposite. Why wax your, why wax your pink at the Pink Academy when you can shave here on Shaving Lane opposite MCR, this is another, it's, there was a Lamborghini that said bollocks. It was meant to say Botox. It was a Lambert, big Lamborghini that said bollocks in the license plate on Shaving Lane. But uh, yeah, you just, I, know, I guess you just don't want those ingrown hairs. That's the main reason, isn't it?